Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a speed build which is made with the lovely cottage garden stuff pack which was made by the Plum, Bug Tea, Plum Bob Tea Society. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description for you guys. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't heard about this stuff pack then where the hell have you been for one? Two, it's on Twitter everywhere and three, it's all over YouTube. Loads of simmers have been talking about it. It's been super hyped and for good reason it is an amazing amazing piece of custom content like if you haven't got it in your game get it <laughs> it is so good i had so much fun playing around with it all all the items are so so beautiful like we need them in the game this is exactly what i wanted the eco living stuff to, to be like so if you were really into that sort of eco um living off the land kind of theme then you will absolutely love this pack um it is full of goodies full of cast items it's like packed to the brim i think it's got like over a hundred and something items it's 171 items it has it is insane um but it's full of cast items full of plants like if you love plants in your game which i do um it's got loads of stuff like that it's got trees it's got planters it's got um wellies i don't know what you guys call them in america but that wellies, um, just loads of loads of beautiful, cool stuff to decorate your homes with. Um, yeah, I'm like super impressed. Like I would never even begin to know where to start even <laughs> making something like that. Um, but it's all very Maxis match as well. So if you're into your Maxis match, you will be glad to know that it all fits in your game. And it looks like EA made it. Like straight up, looks like a EA made it. It's incredible. Um, so I've had a lot of fun playing around with this pack and uh, I really wanted to make a garden centre, um, I know that's what they're called in the UK but I'm not really sure what they're called else, but um, it's like a, just a place that like you would go to to buy garden supplies and plants and things like that to decorate your home with. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to make a garden centre, one so I could play a little bit with the pack and experiment with some of the decorative items and just to kind of use them all really. I was like chomping at the bit to just get on with all the stuff and use them um, and have fun with them. So that's what I did. <laughs> and I made a sim as well to go along with this garden centre so that she could own it and like, you know, because I always forget about like having retail lots in the game so it's kind of nice to have a play around with that kind of side of things as well while experimenting and exploring what the pack has to offer so yeah I've had so much fun with this um it it kind of turned out how I wanted it to I think the build itself like the shape of the house and stuff like that could have been like I don't know I'm just not I'm not the best at building all right it's just how it is just leave it at that um yeah, it did turn out really cool and I can't wait for my sims to, you know, go on and explore uh, this little store. Um, so I still got the autumn mod installed, so if you see like these yellow trees and a lot of my plants and stuff are still very autumnal, that's because of the mod. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for that mod as well. Um, I'm loving it. I, I love the auto mod so much. It like makes me play the game sort of differently, um, makes me decorate things differently. So it's really fun and I've really been enjoying it. So if you haven't checked that and tried it out already, I'd really, you know, what's on recommend? I can't talk today, I'm sorry. I've just like been to the shop and bought loads of stuff and I'm excited to try it on. So ignore my strange commentary today. But yeah, this is like a little rating room that I wanted to create. Um, like places like this always have like a weird kind of cashier bit with like plants around it and stuff like that and maybe a little seating area. So yeah, and I stuck with like tiles and wooden flooring and stuff to kind of fit in with the aesthetic of the build. How exciting. Um, so yeah, this is where we're at. So I'm not really sure how much this build actually costs in total. Um, I think it's, oh, we're getting to like 14k at the moment. I'm sorry for this thing in the UI and the, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, the laptop thing. I forgot to put it away and I didn't realise until after editing. So I apologise and I also apologise for the grid and I'm sorry for mentioning it now in case it annoys you. <laughs> um, I'm just like that, I'm sorry, don't hurt me. I am a newbie to this. But I'm really enjoying it, it's really fun. 
Um, it's been made, doing YouTube has made me kind of build a lot more, which is weird because I never normally build in The Sims, which is really strange. Um, but I'm very much a kind of family player, storyteller. I like making stories for my Sims and I don't really build that much. So it's nice to be able to learn to build, I guess, because it's all a big learning curve and I guess it all takes practice at the end of the day. So this bit is a sort of plant buying slash grocery slash seed buying area. I didn't know what to call it, but meh. In the end, I ended up making like a little back bit so you could like buy like bigger sort of plants and like things for your garden, which I thought was a really cool idea because you know, you can't sometimes you can't just plonk down a fountain in the back of your garden and expect it to be like, hey, it 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 just appeared. But okay, that doesn't really make any sense because that's basically the whole Sims logic. But you know what I mean. It's nice to like kind of go buy something for your garden. So I put like all the larger stuff outside so that like you could go outside and browse and discover things for your garden that you never knew you wanted. So that's what this little back bit is. And I'm so glad it turned out. Like, look at all these items. These are amazing. And don't they, they just like fit in the game so well. Like, these little barn doors as well are like the cutest thing ever. Um, I wanted to incorporate them in the end. I, at first I wasn't sure, cause, but they, they kind of make sense and I, I like them. So the world barrow is also insane. You can put stuff in it. Um, a lot of the things you can actually put stuff into. So like there's these basket things in the other room and um, these like little table things that you can place objects on them. That is literally like EA made them. It is so impressive. I am literally astounded by the talent that came out of this pack. So I really recommend getting it. Like I enjoy playing with the items so much and they feel authentic. So it didn't feel odd in my game to have objects around that you know are custom content um because i normally don't use custom content build items in my game i just i always find they are a bit too strange looking but these shelves they're all part of the cottage garden stuff pack as well and i put loads of herbs on here i thought it'd be really cute to kind of like i don't know have this little garden maybe like she makes them at home and then she brings them to the store and like sells them so i thought it'd be really cute to have like all these little herbs that you can buy and plants for your home and things like that so that's what is going up on the shelves right now um so yeah it's really exciting i love this build it is so adorable i can't wait to have my little person open up her store i might build an upstairs eventually because i don't really think about it at the time but if i built an upstairs and she could have lived up there which would have kind of been cool or maybe even a tent. Maybe she could just like have a tent and sleep in the middle of the thing. Who knows? So I'm sorry for my video not being up yesterday as well. I had to record for this and I was getting stressed and I had work. But I've been like working this past week and it has been the craziest work week I've ever experienced in my life. I literally, Sunday was just so intense. I didn't have anything for yesterday because I queue in advance my days. So I had like nothing to post yesterday. So I was getting like stressed out about it because Sunday I went to work and literally we got, it was dead quiet, no one was there. I was like, okay, right, I'm expecting to get sent home because it's so dead at work. Turns out that, you know, everyone was just waiting till like one, two o'clock in the afternoon. Well, actually it happened at like, 10 10 o'clock like our whole rest well it's like a restaurant slash bistro place and it was literally like completely full like of just angry customers that just wouldn't chill out like was, people's food were cold we didn't have anyone to wash up in the kitchen like it was just absolutely insane and I remember getting home and just being like I hate my life my job sucks so yeah that was what happened on Sunday so I didn't have any chance to pre-record for Monday and that's why I didn't have a video yesterday. And I'm pretty sure this video is going to be late today because I'm feeling lazy. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to have a break from my life. Um, but it's really important to kind of know your limits and, you know, take some time out to reflect, especially when you are busy, stressed out. Like, there's no point in stressing over this channel and it hasn't, like, even started yet. So 
I, I took a chill pill, so that's why. But then I could build this. Um, it took me about two hours in the end, so that's not that bad. But yeah, so it only took me two hours to build this. Um, but it was fun because I could like sit in front of the telly and build something while recording instead of having like the pressures of like, oh my god, I need to create something like right now. So I can chill out. I could chill. But yeah, we still haven't planned like any of our American adventure yet, which is also in the back of my mind and probably what I'll be doing tonight. So that's exciting. But I've got work very, very early tomorrow. If you don't know, I work extremely early. Well, not extremely, but it's early for me. So tonight I'm going to chill out and have a nice face mask and a cup of tea and maybe a nice pie and chips or something <laughs> along those lines because I'm a massive foodie and I love food. I cannot help myself. Um, so this is like the little grocery slash seed area that I was talking about earlier. These little baskets that I'm putting fruit, fruit and veg in at the moment are so adorable. I can see this in so many Sims kitchens. So I am literally like astounded by this pack. I was going to do a review, but Urban Sims has a really good review and a couple of other people have a really good review. Um, so check their videos out. I thought mine would be a bit too long and long-winded. So I just didn't do it. Um, so yeah, this is the end result. I hope you enjoyed this build. And yeah, check out my channel, subscribe and like and comment. I appreciate all of those things so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!